Hello, me again. Just going to show you how to change a bottom bracket on an Orco. It's probably the same on every other bike as well. I'm just changing the bottom bracket because I wanted something that looks a bit nicer and it's probably a bit lighter as well. So I've got the inner race bottom bracket on those. So basically, you're going to make a start with the tools you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need a uh, pedal spanner, but I've gone over to different pedals, so you need it. 8mm hex wrench or allen key 24mm spanner bottom bracket tool and that bottom bracket tool to put in the new SRAM dub bottom bracket and putting in and the SRAM crank more importantly you're going to need tobacco and cigarettes if you smoke some good music I've got five finger death bunch playing in the background and even more importantly a unicorn bottle your daughter's one filled up with vimto that'll keep you going for the next hour or so all right so let's make a start shall we if there's a bit of swearing and stuff i apologize because i've made a few cock-ups so here we go first of all, we're going to start off taking the pedals off I've already cheated a little and loosened the pedals up obviously I've got the hex wrench pedals if you've got a standard pedal cheapo pedal and you're probably gonna have the uh, you're gonna need a pedal spanner to get these off I think they're normally about a 15 mil there's one pedal one stamp pedal spin it around Wrong way. No, wrong way. Do do do. Also, once you get these off, it's always good to have a little poke around in there with dry cloth and some WD-40 to give it a good clean up as well because it gets missed when you try and wash it up and all that. All right. So the next thing, I'm going to lock out the rear derailleur, locked out, chain off, there we go, some people take chains off completely, don't need to do that, next, going to get crank arms loosened up, one, Remember, put all your bits to one side as well. I don't throw away my old bits if they're in good working order, because one day I might need them. Let's go on the other side. Well, there we go, that's that one off hopefully. Yep, there we go. So he's off. Right, where's my crank arm puller? There it is. What's something else you're going to need? Crank arm puller. With a 15mm spanner. Unless you've got a proper one. One that already has a spanner fitted to it. You may well have. This one's just one of those cheap kits you get from Alfred's or any other cycle stores. It's a full kit, got everything there you need basically within reason. Again, there's a bit loose. In fact, I loosened that one up yesterday. Go on the other side. To the other side with a 15 mil spanner unless that one's loose as well but 
stuff. Remember, I've done this before on another bike, on my bike we use for work, and it stripped the threads. So be warned. Luckily, I've had these ones off before, just recently, just to get bearing sizes, etc., for the SRAM dub. Done. Nice, simple little fix. And now, let's get the bearings out, which probably weigh about half a ton. So if anyone's got a crane nearby, they want to learn me. That on, that on. There we go. So I won't bore you with the uh, cleaning side of this, but right, when the video is off, I'll do that then. And there is the inner race bottom bracket. Like I said, I won't throw this away, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Nice and smooth still, I've only had the bike a year. And I don't really do a lot of miles on it, so that'll be put to one side in a bag to keep it safe and get the other side of the show out and there we go it is ready for the SRAM dub which I'm just waiting on in the post unfortunately I've got work all weekend so it's got to wait till it comes in the post and that is that so, I'm going to turn the video off in a minute, and then when you have a bit here, I'll add it to this video, and I'll put it on YouTube. Right, so what we're going to do now is put the bottom bracket, or the new SRAM dub bottom bracket back in. There we go. Let me show you the bracket itself. Oh, there we go. That bit and that bit. So let's pop, pop it in, shall we? Right, so here we go. That side in first. Remember to grease up the threads as well. It's a little bit fiddly getting it in. Doing it like this as well. There we go. It's going in. Lovely job, Lee. There's that one. And pop this side in. There's a left and a right side. Obviously, right side is a drive side. Left sides for the non drive side, i.e., the disc side. Alright, so there is those popped on, then you get your bottom bracket tool, it's a 12 point tool, and tighten those bad boys up. And there we go, simple as that. Then I'll see you install the crank in, in, in a minute. Right, so now you get your crank, a bit of grease. I like it well lubed up. Rub it around. Ignore the cat, if you can hear the cat meowing at me. There we go, all nicely lubed up and re-greased. Make sure your bearings or that little bit there is all the way back. And it should just pop straight in. Should do, in theory. There we go. There's that bit on.
can pop that bit on. Get your eight mil Allen key or hex wrench as you Yanks call them. And start to wind it on. This needs to torque up to 54 Newton meters. Unfortunately, I don't have a torque wrench, so it will be something I have to kind of guess, but I know that's pretty bloody tight. So if you don't want the pedals coming off, or the crank arms coming off, do you? One. <coughs> there we go, that is that on. Chain on. Bosh, done. Pedals back on as per normal. And that really is as simple as that. You might have to dial in the gears a bit, but there we go. Bish bash bosh. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Always wear a helmet, Norbed. Right, forgot to say, bit of an idiot, wind that bit on and then pinch up with a 2mm Allen key. So that way you get no play in the crank set, in the bearings. Also trying to do it blind is not exactly easy. There we go, got it. Pinch that up. There we go, no play. Always get plank flat, pl floating about everywhere and that's not really good. The bearings or the crank set, you're gonna put premature wear on it. There we go, it is all set, it's all done, all ready for a ride out tomorrow maybe, hopefully, if the weather's nice.